Good morning. I'm Mrs. Carlson, the librarian. I miss you all. Wish we were back in school. I miss all your little faces, and I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Today, I want to read to you Splat the Cat and the Lost Library Book. It is written by Rob Scotton. Scotton. Splat's mom noticed that Splat had a lots of lot of books and toys and clothes he didn't use anymore. Time to go through your closet, she said. We're going to donate the things you don't need anymore to kids who do. Splat thought that was a great idea, but his closet was so stuffed he was scared to open the door. Because every time he did, splat. Splat went through his things and put them into piles. Look, Seymour, remember this? Splat asked. I think this shirt is too small, said Seymour. Oh no, what's this? A library book. And it's way, way overdue, said Splat. How's it going up here? asked Splat's dad. Great job, Splat, he said, seeing all the piles. They decided to take the clothes to the local shelter. The toys would go to the children's hospital and the books could go to the downtown library. Not the library, Splat shouted. Why not? They're having a book drive today to get more books. People don't always return the ones they check out. What am I going to do, worried Splat, his tail wiggled wildly. The late fine will be ginormous. What will they do to me? Will they send me to jail? Will they make me walk the plank? Hey, maybe I have enough money to pay the fine, Splat told Seymour. Splat grabbed his piggy bank and shook it hard. He only had 25 cents. Time to go, Splat's mom yelled. Get your stuff together. The family went to the shelter first. Splat tried to help his parents carry in the boxes of donations. Unfortunately, he might have tried a little too hard. Splat. Next, they went to the children's hospital. The kids there loved getting all those new toys. The last stop was the library. Splat was scared. Mrs. Sardino, the librarian, librarian, met them at the door. Thank you so much for your donation, she said, looking over all the books. Splat, it looks like a lot of these books are yours. Splat nodded. It must be hard to give away all those books. I know I hate to give up my books, even if I haven't read them in ages. Splat started to sweat. I have a whole room in my house filled with books. Some of them I've had since I was your age. I should probably make a donation myself, she said with a laugh. And that was all Splat could take. I did it, Splat confessed. My library book is way overdue. I didn't mean to. I just loved the book so much I didn't want to return it. And I loved it so much I hid it in my closet and then I forgot that I hid it. And it's like a million years overdue and I'm really sorry. And if you're going to send me to jail or make me walk the plank, that's okay. Splat cried, I deserve it. Um, Splat, Mrs. Sardino said, it's only a week overdue. You owe 25 cents. Seriously? Splat said, reaching into his pocket.
that's okay, said Mrs. Sardino, smiling. This time, I think we can let it go. Besides, your generous, generous don donation, excuse me, more than makes up for it. I hope you all enjoyed me reading Splat the Cat to you, and I hope to do it again soon. Please take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye.